This is the first in a series of videos on the industrial Internet of Things and how we can bring the data in more of a real-time manner uh, into the cloud and use that data in analytics and machine learning. In this specific example, we're going to concentrate on oil and gas uh, devices. These are industrial RTUs uh, used in the field. They're rugged, um, they're made for the purpose, but they don't communicate in a very modern way and usually a very slow and expensive way. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a edge of network device to communicate to these things locally and then push the data instantly when things change. Um, it can push alarms instantly um, or when values start rapidly changing we can quickly get that data instead of waiting on a slow poll cycle. And then we're going to push the data into Azure IoT Hub and then we're going to use analytics to transform the data and push it over to machine learning. There's going to be five videos in this series. Um, this video is just concentrating on the overview of the entire project. And then we'll break out into the other videos which will be the Edge of Network device, setting up Node-RED to go between your device and the IoT Hub, and then using Stream Analytics to grab that data. And then last but not least is the machine learning uh, video, which actually was one of the easier things to do and actually really cool. Uh, you're going to enjoy that one. So Now I'm going to dive into a more detailed uh, explanation of this project. So. We have some test devices here. These are all industrial uh, RTUs, we call them, uh, used in the oil and gas industry. This is a thermoscientific autopilot. Here's a control microsystem SCADA pack. And then this is a Fisher Rock. Each one of these costs several thousand dollars. And there's several reasons for that. They're ruggedized. Um, they're built to run on low power, usually 12 volts. They have wide temperature ranges so they can function fine in harsh freezing or hot climates. So these are tried and tested devices but they do not have a modern way of communicating. They usually use something like Modbus. Another issue with uh, these systems is they're usually very distributed and the communication means to be very costly so a lot of times what we have is a polling a software polling engine in, in the company headquarters that communicates out to a field office and then you may have owned radio networks going to all these remote sites and these networks are very slow um, you can also use cellular data or satellite which is very costly as well so what I usually see is oil, oil and gas companies are just communicating. We pull the data out of the devices every hour, which a lot of times is okay, but if situations start changing rapidly or alarms go off, it would be nice for that data to instantly uh, show up. So that's why I'm a big fan of MQTT, and we'll implement this in our plan here. What we'll have is an edge of network device kind of in the mix that can communicate if there are, especially if there are multiple wells on a pad, it could communicate to these devices say every minute and then if things start changing rapidly it can push the data instantly. And then the second part of this whole project is what can you do with the data once you have it uh, in, in the cloud. The particular issue we're going to tackle in this in, in later videos is one of well loading. So I'll go into much more detail about the, the issue in the machine learning video, but basically wells can load up with fluid and different things can happen and you can use machine learning to analyze the pressures and flow rate and um, machine learning can tell you if uh, something is happening. So this can, you know, improve your efficiencies, uh, cut down on downtime. There's a lot of documentation and all of these videos are kind of uh, organized uh, on the hackster.io project page. You'll find that in the video description.